This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Go. Uh, right as we speak, uh, there's been heavy gunfire reported in Tyrus Square. Actually got reported at 6 o'clock by Lester Holt on my show. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Anyway, uh, seriously, uh, that's um, very serious. When Lester first said it, I, I was taken aback by it. Uh, that might mean the military is getting involved and possibly firing on the protesters. That would be disastrous. But also breaking news, Richard Engel reporting that the pro-Mubarak protesters are uh, now leaving Tahrir Square. So that's a great development. You know, I don't know if that means they're retreating. We don't know who the gunfire was on at this point, as I'm doing the show live here. So uh, interesting developments. But anyway, you guys know what the most interesting part of it is. I mean... I tried to show how amazed and enthusiastic I was about it on MSNBC, but I'm not sure it became it was clear enough. Dude, they had camels. They attacked with camels. When's the last time that happened? Like the 1920s, Lords of Arabia? And so in the Tahrir Square, when the Pro Mubarak guys came in, they came in on a horseback and then camels. And, and then they had sticks and stones and Molotov cocktails. First of all, there was the nonsense about, uh, well, we don't really know who they are. Go, 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 go. I'll tell you who they are. They're the police, and they're the interior ministry sent by Mubarak. And, of course, later we got reporting that the interior ministry was saying to their employees, you could collect your paycheck if you happen to go out there and kick some ass, and here, I'll pull up a camel for you guys. <laughs> or you don't get your paycheck. That's how it works, Right. So then the Camel Brigade came in. Um, but you look at that, it's actually good news in, in some ways because they had to resort to horses and camels because the army wouldn't let them use the tanks. Now, if the army wants to use the tanks, they could clear that square pretty quickly. So, it, you know, in an ironic way, it was it was good that the, uh, the bad guys had to resort to camels. Uh, now, of course, there was fighting throughout the day, and it looks like at this point, as we're doing the show live, uh, the pro-democracy protesters have held the square. They have held the square. And over 600 injured, three dead. Uh, but that that's a real revolution you got going on there. And, I mean, that is incredible courage in the face of, you know, ha Molotov cocktails being thrown at you from buildings and that absurd camel brigade charge to still stay there the whole day and hold the square. That is amazing. And I... I Unlike a lot of people here in, in the United States, including our president, who is inching towards the press, protesters, inching, uh, and certainly the Republicans who have been disastrous on this. Uh, finally, John McCain, to his credit, said, all right, Mubarak's got to go, although he said it was regrettable. Uh, but other Republicans have been disastrous on it, saying, oh, Mubarak's our ally. What are you talking about? These guys on the street are dangerous. They're Muslim. Did you know that? They're Muslim. Unlike all those people, I'm definitely on the side of the protesters because I actually believe in America and I believe in our democracy, and that's part of the reason that I came here. But we got to live up to those ideals, otherwise, what's the point of America? So uh, my loyalties are clear. Now, it doesn't mean that every guy in that protest at another time is going to be a lovely human being. It doesn't mean I agree with the Muslim Brotherhood. I don't. Uh, but it does mean that Egypt should be a democracy and they should get a vote instead of having a dictator. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere, at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.